Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Sweeney from the Community Foundation of Greater Dubuque and today we're going to show you a little bit about the Foundation Center Grants Database. You can find almost any grant available in this grants database, including federal grants. You can also find historical grant information from various funders. So if you're trying to build a relationship with a funder, this would be a good way to find out more information about them. The Foundation Center Grants Database is a national grants database, um, which is available to any nonprofit for free, and you just need to make an appointment to come use it in our office. In order to use the grants database, start here with the search box. I like to use the advanced search filters because it helps narrow it down a bit further. I always make sure to start with the geographic focus, which is where the money will be used. We'll look for grants made to organizations in Iowa. For example, let's look for grants regarding childcare. Look at the drop down menu to pick the option closest to what you're looking for. You can select all the options or be as specific as you want. There are a few different options for narrowing down your search. The search results are delivered in four different areas. The first area is grant makers, so this is where I would spend your time when using this database. This shows organizations who are interested in funding that specific topic area. In the grant makers option, we can view the full list of grant makers who are interested in funding child care welfare in Iowa. We have over 500 different grant makers interested in that, so let's look at the John Deere Foundation for example. You can open up this profile and see almost anything you'd ever want to know about the John Deere Foundation. It shows you what they typically like to fund and by how much. It also tells you where they spend most of their grant dollars and that most of their grants are less than $5,000. The grant section will show you the grants they've made in the past. This section shows you their funding interest. So child care might be one of their funding interests, though they might be more focused on agriculture, for example. This will help you understand if your grant application is a good fit for their organization or not. There's also an about section that often gives additional information about the funder. There's also another section about other funders to consider. So for example, if the John Deere Foundation is a good fit for your grant application, you might consider also applying to the Walmart Foundation or Monsanto Fund because they have similar funding interests. You don't actually apply through this grants database, but it will show you exactly how to access the application and what is required. I would also take note of the giving limitations just so that you are aware if, they are if there are specific communities that they do or do not get grant to. There's also a section on financials so you can better understand how much they give away each year um, and to what organizations. And sometimes there's also a list of board members and other donors that are important to that organization. And at the bottom there's contact information. So as you can see, there is a variety of things you can learn about grant makers through this grants database. Any nonprofit can use this database for free. You just need to make an appointment to come use it.